M0FXB Hamtech, welcome to my videos on the FT991. And yes, we do have a GPS signal for our 991. I'm going to show you the hardware. This is the actual antenna. It does come with a RS232 connector plugged into the back there, as you can see. And see that's the red and the black wire that is powered by a normal USB connection. Just into my 5 volt out there. Now I did splice into a normal USB cable to get that 5 volts power, but basically red and look for red and black, and in my case they were pink for black and uh, sorry, pink for red and brown for black, but you can test it with a voltmeter, which is what I did. So regarding the settings, just press the menu button like so and go down to menu 28. At the moment I've selected GP I thought I should select RS232, but I found that GPS1 worked. Then go down one to 20. So it's 28 is the one that you select GPS, look. Like so. And the next one down, just turn the multi knob. And I've selected 9600 because that's what's advertised with the, the module that I purchased from AliExpress, but you may be able to get one locally. This was the module I purchased here. AliExpress. It was only literally about £12, £13 delivered. They do show a pinout diagram, but I didn't need that because I just tested the cable, plugged the cable in and just tested it. But if you do need to check this, just pause the video and have a look. And I bought the GPS model that's highlighted on the right there. So to see my position, you just hold down menu. You get this menu come up. At the moment, if I press lat long, that's my manual location. But if I press GPS, that's my GPS location. Very handy when you're in C4 FM. And of course, if you take this mobile, you're not going to have to enter your coordinates in a, you know, manually. You'll just pick them up wherever you are. So we back out and go to my, to my hotspot, like so. Choose my hotspot. Pretty sure I got that in my menu, in my memories. Maybe not. Let's just find it. Let's go menu like that. There's my hotspot. So when someone transmits now, and when I transmit, we'll both get each other's location, especially, uh, you know, on C, of course, on C4FM, where you can transmit data. I could try group mode. And that transmits your location and on the manual I'm sort of looking at the manual here got information there lat long touch the lat on the LCD and I just noticed that you can actually use with the correct cable say you've got the FT1 and 2 I haven't I, I need to test if it'll work on the 3 and 5 you get the CT169 cable that is RS232 here look and that will give the you know act as a GPS antenna. So I'm definitely going to be testing that 100 percent And then you've got the, uh, yeah, the description there. So I def check out the, the manual, of course, get the best of your out of your GPS. Some may think, well, what's the point? I can just put it in manually. There you are in group mode. The function automatically inquires to find if there are any stations with the group mode. And look, you can see there when you do that, there's location. So when it's active, and I'll, I'll put it on America Link in a minute, and we'll see it working live. I think it's well worth it. The, you know, the cable's inexpensive. There's going into the group mode functions there. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Bye for now.